just trying to hold it down every single time. And now the spike will get planted, so Temperature going to be able to teleport himself into this site. And now it's a 5 on 5 retake. So 100 Thieves not really contesting that plant and confident on their retakes. And Mr. Feed and Alexander, they've got so much more to say. And Frank's count is 4 versus 3. Alexander already taken down Dicey, so he could... Going for the wide swing, able to take one, looking to find another. Just spotting the shoulder of the Cypher, and that's a very good angle, but Proby going to be taking him down, leaving it into steel. To hold things down, he needs to see if he can pick up these frags. He's going to spray one. Well, the time is just ticking too much for steel, and he's going to have to fall back. So another round for Moon, Raccoons. That's just uh, another one thrown away there. Three rounds, 100 Thieves, not... Able yet. And for Moon Raccoon's already in this site, and Asuna spamming away the ghost, and he's able to get that frag. So this is a very good start already. The Molotov comes in. This could be a problem, and now he's able to land it. So temperature, it's too hot for him because he's gonna fall. So now it's a three-on-five situation. I haven't even got into sight yet, lads. Talk of that. Speak of the devil. We do have some company in sight. So he plays in heaven and connector. This is a really difficult hold in. The spike could have gone down. We've got eight seconds. And this is not looking good at all. It's one player left. It's very nice. Alexander. And Alexander's going to fall to Dicey. Lands the one shot with the Sheriff. This cowboy, he's here to play and he's in town. And finally, 100 Thieves, they respond back in interesting fashion. And also with Hiko just on the other. And now this is going to be coming in, swarming through. And Asuna only able to take down one. But Hiko, he's going to have to play this cool. And the spike will be planted, making this the four on four again. Mr. Fiend having no problems after that operator nerf. Say what you will, making it happen. And 100 Thieves, they're in a sticky situation here. Eco just spraying and praying. Hopefully, Dicey trading in and Fiend pick up an upper up frag. So three versus three, we're back at even playing. And Hiko able to find the back of Profi, so that is a big frag. And he was being a good diversion, but now pushing through. And now you can see the barrel, the, the operator, but he takes him down, making it back to the one-on-one. -on -one. Alexander versus Hiko. Hiko's sticking it. He's halfway. But Alexander is going to be peeking wide, and he's going to win that oh. duel. Moon Raccoons, keep it going. For but the spike will be finally planted. They fully commit to this, and now that will be the Killjoy ult, so that's going to have to push the attackers back. And Asuna finally able to make something work. He's looking for more. Spots another. He, now he knows that there is at least two members going to be stuck inside of Long. This is going to be a big play from Steel. He's able to get the double, making it the triple, and now it's just down to Rebo. A one-on-three situation, but it's a little too late as the spike. It gets diffused. Sluggish on the rotation there, and to give credit where credit's due, Hunter Thieves popping off on the retake, and so much more. Now they're going to be having that full site control, and Asuna trying to use the run it back, but he's not able to make anything work. Hiko trying to land the Hunter's Fury, and he's able to connect it. So now that's a problem for Moon Raccoons. They don't even have the spike down yet, but they're pushing through a link. But Hiko finds another, looking to get another, and it's just a clean, easy pickup. Nitro, a bit of a. Bit of a sketchy little bit of a shooting there, but now this is actually looking very good from Moon Raccoons because what they've done is taking garage control, but now even Long C, they're going to be able to push in. You can get just down to Steel and Dicey. Steel going to be giving up the Operator for the Vandal. It's a 2 on 3, and the HP from the Jet of Moon Raccoons is low. So this isn't out of the question, but they need to make something work. Steel has his ultimate ready to go. He's definitely going to be activating it right now, so time is ticking here for Moon Raccoons. Tick tock, tick tock. Goes the clock there. Killjoy, countdown time. Still dicey. They've got to make a move soon. That spike. How much time have they got left? It's, it's got to be low. And that play and that positioning from Temperature was so big because he was just on the outside of it, so they might not expect it. But Steel reads him like a book. And now it's just completely falling apart. And the spike's getting diffused. And oh my god. 100 Thieves. They pull it through with the two-round lead. <gasps> Which is going to be Fiend. He could find them at the right time, but his teammates need to push through. He's able to find one. Goes for more. He's able to win Ooh. that. So taking down Dicey and Hiko. He's spamming as fast as he can, and it's just leaving it all down to Nitro. All by him lonesome. He's going to have to make something work, but it's not going to matter. And now they're actually... That's a good start already. I mean, look at these frags back and forth on short A, and now this is uh, looking a bit dicey, and Temperature able to find another one also.
Just two players remain of 100 Thieves, so they really have to be the best pit pocket in town if they're going to make this one work. Nitro with the Sheriff, getting it queued up, that for potential peek at short, but nothing is going to be found in sewers, so they're going to edge forward. I really like this positioning from Thieves and also Kenner. They're actually playing back and long, and that's going to be Nitro get the trade. So leaving it with Miss with Bean to be ready to go. He's in the sight, so he's creeping his way. He hasn't given up the position yet, but now he's spraying. He finally makes hacking on her thieves. He's on B site. That's from some free real estate, but it's going to be very costly. And now the spike actually going to fall. They're not even able to get this planet. And this should be an easy round, leaving it only just down to steel. He's just looking to see what he can find. And that's going to be nothing. Incredible. This is deadly. Yeah, temperature is getting ready. He's actually stuck just inside the corner. He's using the paranoia. He's able to land that. So that's a stinger. Already comes in full commencement, but he's only able to take down one. And now Alexander replies back with his teammate Rebo. Let's see what's this aggression. This could be deadly, guys. Look. Oh, it's already falling apart at 100 Thieves. They ran into the trap. And now Alexander just needs to stay alive as long as possible. Rebo able to help him out also. And now that should be the mop up. Pico, he does clutches. But this one is just not in store. And Moon Raccoons keep it going with one runs. Getting ready for the ro or the retake. Going out here, now looking to find more. That's going to be a full line, Alexander. And now they're pushing through, but that's going to be steel. But that's Alexander, oh, definitely no. above. Pulls through the spray, making it the two on three. The Huntress Fury connects, and Hiko again and again. He's able to make it work. This Hunter's Fury doesn't he? And somehow. It looks like Hunter Thieves are getting ready for potentially another A execute. Talk about this earlier and talk about again C and the ABC. It's so difficult to know which side's going to be pushed. It is going to be C in turn. Mr. Alexander landing the 3k. This could be a really spicy round here. Potentially the A speed Nitro. He's going to see otherwise though. He wants none of that. Yeah, Nitro's He's been. Four? Oh, four okay. things. Sorry. Just no, no, that's okay. And I mean, Nitro, like 24 frags. Teach me the ways. Teach me. Only. I'm not even going to say my rank, but nonetheless, a little <laughs> bit more or less about us. I mean, look, she's dragged back and forth. Garage. It's a big sale. And Nitro, we've talked Ooh. about him before. And that's a double, double kill that's going to come through him. And already so early on, a minute and 14 left. We're already down to a two and two. Killjoy Sova versus the Sova Cypher. So. The Sova twins. Eco trying to prove he is the better with the arrows there. Still, though, on that slow look, and this is the play. This is the focus. Look at this. He's a ninja. He's on the creep. Yeah, this is a really good play from Steel. He's a bit slow on it, but he might be able to find Profi. He picks his timing right in Hiko. They know he's there. But Steel tries to get that frag, but he's just not able to fast enough. So it is just Hiko by himself. The Lone Ranger, the Clutch Master himself, a one on two to keep things going, to make it back to the 11 11. Otherwise, Moon Raccoons are going to be putting themselves on that 12th match point. That's going to be that, and that's oh. going to be 12 in the window. That's going to be the trade frags going back through Garage, but you can see Profi getting ready. He actually hears them, so. Getting ready for now. The recon bullet going to come through, and that's going to be Asuna throwing the curveball, which does land. Spike getting defused, but that's going to be a good shot to start things off. And now the spike, it's not being defused, but now oh, it's finally oh. going through. And that's, oh my gosh. They're going to have to time their utility perfectly because there's still five members of Moon Raccoons waiting. And look at the minimap. They're completely stuck. They're just waiting inside of spawn on the defender's side. Oh, there's a conga line waiting to storm in. This is, this is nerve wracking. This is nerve wracking if you're a player or if you're a spectator. One thing against both for temperature. A double oh! here. A triple from Nitro. It's a two versus one. And this is going to be all on Hiko here. He's got a dodge. Hunter's Fury if he wants any chance to survive. He's going to manage it. It's Sober on Sober, lads. Sober on Sober. Both are so low. And Hiko 27 HP with Froppy being down to six. And he gets the spray. But there's not going to be enough time. Is there time? Is there time? Is this worth OT? My goodness, I wouldn't want to be trapped in the room with one of those guys. I, would, I wouldn't make it out alive, mate. You wouldn't recognize me. Nitro, he looks at the wrong time, Rebo. The element of surprise, and it pans out. It's only one frag, but that's a big frag. That's one of the top fraggers in the entire server, and especially on the 100 Thieves squad. Getting putting that spike in towards B. Now 
Looking at a four on three situation. Alexander moving his way through a link. Now, this is all down to the post plant situation. They're going to have to come alive, leaving it only just down to two. Hiko and also Dicey. Hiko goes for double, and now it's all down to him. This is going to have to be a quad kill for him to pull things through. Keep him alive. He's able to get the triple, and he doesn't know where the last player is. Alexander, oh. he's creeping. These guys. Bring around the Rosies. Bring around the Rosies, and he's creeping out. Hiko, he doesn't know. He's got no intel at all. Oh, and he's using the Huntress Fury, and that's a good way to beat the time, and he makes the no way. We can see it's actually going to be Poppy that's trying to get a little bit more in a different position, a bit more exposed. It's falling apart, and now it's all Alex. just down to Alexander, the one-on-four coach. Oh, mate, we've, we've seen him do so many clutches, but I think this is a tall order. We've talked about tall glasses. This is the, the table full of pitchers here. I don't think he's going to be able to, to chug it all. Time shall tell, though. The times are ticking. That spike is not getting any shorter or any longer, I should say. Going to be changing the op now for the Vandal. Got a fancy dragon op or uh, Vandal as well. So getting some style points, but this is a this is a really hard task. And 100 thieves, they have to completely throw this away. But look at the double tap. That's a really good way to start things off. But there's three members. They just need to have this map presence because it just allows you to have more variety on what you want to do. And that's going to be two shots and Nitro with a nice tap onto Temperature. Going to be taking the site, but that's going to be Reboot again to find another. Making it a four on three situation. The players inside of the defensive side are going to be pinched onto B, but they will fall now, leaving Rebo getting close. Gets for the spray, finally makes the connection onto another head. Not able to get the cyber cage at the right moment. Bouncing back right into his face. They're still using to his advantage, though. Not sure he's got the confidence and the awareness. Asuna is on the prowl. Three versus one. Alexander, clutch king. Make that number one. Is he going to have it? He's not. Asuna with the 3k, with the stinger. And that's not the caster's curse. That's the opposite. That's the going to be able to throw the paranoia. And then what he might try to do is break down this wall. But now, Killjoy squashes that plan a little bit. But it actually will be destroyed. So they can now commence on the execute. And Nitro is going to be taken down. It's completely fallen apart. And it's up to Kiko to make something work. But Temperature, he's cooking hot. He's cooking. Shouldn't be in if you're 100 Thieves. Oh, oh no. <laughs> That's going to work though, isn't it? What a play. That's, that can't be expected. I mean, the smoke criminal walks through it. And that's such a risky play. I mean, it is a, you know, high risk, high reward. But when you're in a game like this, I mean, up 4-2. You want to be careful, but it doesn't matter. Now the couple comes through, and that's going to be taken down. That's the ultimate. And they're still committing to this B site coach. They are. They're on the full set. It's going to be the 5 versus 2. Make that the 4 versus 2. We have seen it, and uh, seen is believing. Hopefully, for future dubs for 100 Thieves, all that experience, maybe not an ascent across FPS in general, they've got to have an idea here. But see, look at this. He takes out his sister in crime. Jet from 100 Thieves Dicey thrown to the ground and the operator remains for Fiend. He's holding the angle. Look at that confidence. Yeah, the fact that he's completely posted up and still trying to test and still trying to contest. Look at him. He didn't even retreat. He's actually still posted up, but he actually gets taken down and steal and also Hiko annihilate both players. So they're getting an opening. They have this opportunity, but ten Temperature able to pick up the one, slow things down a little bit, but Hiko again! Oh. What on earth is going on? The door closes and saves him a bit of time to get the spike plant. But the HP for Rebo is down to two. He's living on the skin of his teeth, so now Proppy has to do something big. He needs to be the first one to win this duel, but Steel takes him down. And Rebo, two HP in a dream, coach. Is it doable? Get him a medic. Or get him deleted from the server. Deleted it will be Steel with the 3k, my man. The Sheriff 3k for that... They're aware of the execute. The spike has commenced to the safe site. It's now advanced to planting. He wins the first exchange. So he's going to get those. He's going to get the one and done. He's the sheriff in town for now. And uh, he's going to reserve the right to late in the round. Four versus five. They have a good attempt for the retake. But he talks the Kami weaponry. They really don't have the advantage with, with the guns here. Not at all. And as you can see, they're getting out of guns. They're, they're getting placed down. Swept. Very easy. Yeah, they almost bankrupt this entire game, and as a consequence of all the aggressive plays that you're seeing from Moon Raccoons, 100 Thieves, though, returning kind and replays of their own.
five versus three, just maybe, this could be the beginning of the climb, but they've got to start now, now and ever. And this is a long climb. I mean, even Thien, the fact that he was at the back of Asuna, but barely survives that exchange and that duel. There's three players remaining for Moon Raccoons. The spike, it's in possession for the defense. They're creeping their way as best as they can, and Nitro takes down another, but he's going to fall. And now it's back and forth again we go, the teeter-totter. Back and forth, two versus one. It's all going to be on Killjoy before this one's undone here. Three boat. And of course, Alexander turning up. In a row, I mean, really? We'll have to wait and see. But if he's getting to that double digit, that could be a problem. But Dicey. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. And now it looks good, but all of a sudden, somehow they're losing these duels. What is going on? It starts with a Colat, and now we're here. Three versus three. The Colat's in history. We're not too sure what happened to it. Gonna have some return fire there from Nitro. And a three versus two retake. Have they got the bottle? Can they stick to their guns here? Temperature using the alt, which allows that information, but he actually decides to commit to it and he actually gets taken down. And I'm not sure if that was a mistake or if he actually wanted to commit to that. But now Profi, only 22 HP, the paranoia doesn't make the connection, doesn't land the op shot, looking to see more. And that's going to be a problem as now 100 Thieves, they're completely hungry for this, but he's only able to take one, so they stay alive a little bit longer. So dicey, we've, we've got to talk. Colat, baby. Colat to open things up as he's peeking. Sooner going to be going for the spray, but not able to make things work. And Fiend finds the last player inside this site, which will be dicey. But he's able to put knives to a gunfight, and he's almost able to get the triple, but he gets taken down. And all of a sudden, it's down to steal a one on three. He has his ult, but does he use it? I mean, he has no other choice. He's going to have to go for this. Poor steel. He's been caught off that, that off-site plant rotation, and... These are the most difficult situations. You know, everything relies on you and it's match point as well. So he needs a 3K. It's a must win if he wants to stay. He's going to grab one. He's inflict damage on two. So two players, they're super lit. This is doable, lads. All players are really, really low. So if Steel can find the right opening, it's going to be about milliseconds here. But the players split up. And that's going to be the back temperature. And to defend. The Killjoy Sentry Turret dealt Shot with. Done. The sooner that we'll find one, immediately traded. Pico, do you have the bounce passes here on the temperature with the shock darts? Yes, you do. Wow. 2v2 now the situation. They know that there is a player popping to the backside. That's Nitro. He'll be dealt with. So now a 1v2. Pico would need to find the last three total kills, and he knows that there are players sitting outside showers. Lear will come through. He tries to hug the corners close to it, but feed. He'll find the elimination. Moon Raccoon strike first. With that, they're gonna teleport behind it to Hookah. Two members from Moon Raccoons would be there to contest it. Kinda, that is the play. Spike will now come down. There's one and two players coming to the teleporter. The flash coming through, but actually Dice is able to do well to find one kill. 4v4 we go. A lot of low health pools across both teams. The 3v3 now all of a sudden. Alec has to stay alive. Unfortunately, Temperature finds a kill into steel. With just 5 HP, he'll back away. Come Temperature sitting very defensively through the defender side at spawn. We'll just make sure that this hit is going to be delayed. And even though a couple of weapons are picked up, this is still a 2v2. And it's still going to be hard for us to get on in. And Nitro, oh boy. He's got all five members stacked up. There is going to be number one. Can he find a second? And a third! Almost gets four and five. But Steel is there to pick up where he left off. It's just down to Fiend for another 1v multiple situation. This time it's 1v4. And the spike is down inside A mid, and at this point, stuck in lamps, you're just hoping you can find a couple of kills. This time with full ammunition, but unfortunately way less of a chance. It really isn't going to be possible here. We'll swing through, gets one, dismisses away by 12 HP now. Versus a bunch of ultimates, bunch of players that know where he is. Util could even clean this one up. As soon as he's got anything left to throw in there, could certainly do so. Fiend one. can use Empress, but I don't think he will. TP's in, yeah. but Pico's waiting on the other end. If he gets an overheal instead of a dismiss, maybe the Empress is the play, but Hiko now down low. Oh. Okay, now all of a sudden, there's the healing off of Hiko's headshot. So now a 1v2 for Empress, me. Empress. Do you pop this Empress here? Yes. I agree with you, Avril. This is the must needed time in a 1v2 situation. Steel coming from the side of Hookah, whereas you're going to get Asuna coming Just from the back side of Defender spawn. He's not committing for it, not as of yet. He's going to hear footsteps to his right and gunshots. 
but is more weary of the battle coming from the backside. Gonna get the headshot. There it is. Now for the dismiss. Gets the read on to where Steel is. He wants to spam through. He's gonna get the 1v4 if he can find one more. Oh, actually gonna get a little bit of information that no one's really in the front side over towards Lance, but Nitro for one. Steel wow. up top and more blind shots for him to connect. Clutch for 100 Thieves. Now up 4-3. to three. Showstopper committed into this one as well. Should be closing the door fairly soon. One around the corner. Fiend will go down. Rebo as well to follow. Temperature will do no more. Leers and Paranoia are out to get the job done for you. Yeah, you got three Flash characters here. So it's actually not the worst thing. You won't have the info, but you will have the util. But you have to use the util. Fiend doesn't care though. We'll be healing back up. He cut for one, possibly a second. Can't nice confirm it. And the spike plant will come on through. 33 HP for Fiend. Desperately needs to find a kill to heal up. Bladestorm for Dicey. Oh. Asuna, nice corner. He finds Fiend's shoulder and converts to the wall onto the head. Alexander from inside the site. Rebo playing from Hookah. And you're going to get Dicey initially peeking it. I think a knife connects, but it's not enough. Now he's got to run it back. Al can actually use this if he so feels the opportunity to stay safe. Rebo gets one kill from top side over to Hookah, and now they know where Nitro is. He takes a couple of spam shots from the defensive side at spawn. He's got to make a committal, and he's able to respond to one. 1v1 one one between him and Rebo. Dark cover gonna get played out. Nitro's gonna come in. Rebo looking for the spam shots, and Nitro was hoping just to hold it. A gutsy call, but. Moon Raccoons look like they wanna really just commit to this aggressively through the middle of the map. Oh, Steel, he's gonna find the first. The peak comes through, takes care of the Marshal holding Alexander. Nitro for two in the corner, make it three. Profi gonna find information close by lockdown, finally to get placed, and this is early. The Moon Raccoons have mostly committed. The spike isn't in the area. Nitro, does he stick this for the from the shadows from behind? He sure does. Steel on the way out, able to find one. Nitro a second, nowhere to exit. Fiend has to find a kill. He does, but he does get detained in the meantime. So for Alexander and Temp, they have to find a way to keep their teammates safe. Here comes the challenge over towards Lamps. Fiend has recovered, but his team is in a 2v3 situation with no spike and operators to deal with. Dicey for one more. Fiend, can you 1v3 this time? Those is a player up top. Shots will miss. Takes the shell, oh, doesn't expect. By the way, does pull an extra player. Rebo's going to come that way as well. Now, three players from Moon Raccoons checking over towards B ramps. As soon as he's there, as soon as he gets traded, Nitro comes back with one. Is there going to be any more kills? There plenty of flashes invested into this one. Dicey would love to find the kill and love it is. His 100 Thieves make it 3 and 3. Really tight moment there. Dicey not quite locking down the shots cleanly, but gets the last opportunity to even up the numbers. 3v3 we go. Spike collected. Alexander still considering if he wants to challenge through Hookah. It would be a risky one, but he's got Rebo with him, and 100 Thieves have picked up the spike and now moved their way over to B long. 30 seconds this will left. leave both defenders relatively isolated in Hookah, but them stacked together with weaker weaponry could provide for some team shots and 100 thieves are actually going to back away take the teleporter and now have they have to commit to a it's only 15 seconds off in the round and this is where profit can do some damage if profit gets any kills here just one just two slowing things down he'll stop the plant it's enough you must go for plant now 100 t have no response on the things up it sure seems that way but temperature is able to respond to asuna now Fiend is here watching the same angle. Shots won't connect for a kill, but 100 Thieves are really hard pressed to make this 4v5 come through unless someone can make a play. Alexander is able to find two kills defensively. Profi coming to the teleporter to pinch behind Hookah. Not going to be needed as Fiend cleans things up and Moon Raccoons hold solidly on the hill. Moon Raccoons are going to immediately go back over to A. Aggressive play for Fiend and Profi happening over towards Showers gets punished immediately. Now the Hunter's Fury going to come through. Austin able to confirm off the damage that was dealt and Hiko connects onto one more one. The kill. What? Beautiful execution here for a hundred thieves, and now it's just down to Alexander. One v five. Not a lot of utility to use since the running back has now been expended. And everything goes wrong for Moon Raccoons here. They had a two stack over towards Showers. Fiend dies straight away, and the rest of them just fall. Hiko connects like Whoa. every single shot coming through from the Hunter's Fury. Dice will not allow outside it. Showers. Sending the Leer through to make sure that the Dark Cover does not block Line of Sight can reposition, but the Paranoia will now deter his Line of Sight. Now it's Steel on the first one, and Fiend able to find one pick. Hiko working the other side, but this is a really tight situation. No one can clear off Fiend. He's going to use the Dismiss. Temperature able to find the... Going to lose B any second. Aldron sees both players over towards Elbow, and that should be the hit marker. 
Blaze Wall will block line of sight, but oh, Alexander nearly can't lock on the shots. Spike. He gets the last bullet to connect. That's the spike down, but Dicey for the trade. Spike will be picked up and now steals on the rotation through Hookah. Rebo, the last player left. trusted to hold this down defensively. Quickly on the rotation is seen through Hookah, Andy. but can't find the kill on the steal. Just down to Rebo from the elbow. Spike gonna come through Spike planet play. successfully. No shots to line up for Rebo whatsoever. And a pick. You do have the ability for Hunter's three Shut if they can get the plant down. Tricky positioning there for Asuna as he tries to double flash back forward. Nothing gonna come through and no kill. Find an angle to find a gunfight though. Showstopper coming out early for 100 teams. This is gonna be a commitment. Asuna trying to find a kill. He got it's find it on the Profi. What just happened right there? The sheriff kill for Profi's in the mix, but how does he stay alive through the Showstopper? Kemp is gonna clear some space. He's gonna go back over to A. More confusion coming through. Fiend from the flank. Not going to be able to get a kill as he trusted the ghost instead of the operator. Avril's mind is about to explode considering the fact they didn't have a rifle throughout this round. And Pico and the rest of Hunter Thieves are going to get a plant off somehow. This is still... I mean, Hunter Thieves and Money just this one. Temperature has to go rubbish here. He's been spotted, gets one kill. As well, when you talk about flash utility. Orb just in case. Again, it only takes six charges overall for the run it back. Dicey holding this angle. Here comes the curveball play. Dark cover first, curveball second, and Dicey wow. still gets the connection. Incredible steal up close. He finds one and a second. One Looking for number ready. three. Steel able to triple up. Profi now, last one left alive for a 1v5. And already you're thinking about the next round. Profi, he's decent. He's not 1v5 decent versus 100 Thieves. Certainly not versus Dicey, who through the smoke is going to get these kills through another that's on the left. fiend over towards a he's going to bait out the lockdown but profi has not fallen for this alexander will find the kill now it's on the other side profi can you find a kill no we cannot nitro gets the easy one now down the 10. he's going to get one but not a second 3v1 it's all down to alexander he's on the site has all of his kids to play with gets a headshot but can't figure out the final bullet for the kill now low health pools this is doable Sidestep the paranoia. Flash has missed. one more shot goes through. He's got a blaze wall. Has to run it back as well. Baits out the defuse. 1v3 and the blaze wall kills Dicey Alexander for four. What an absolutely clutch ice moment for Alexander. To come out and win a half they're not supposed to win. I mean, we're threatening on this match becoming an instant classic, but maybe not for the best reasons, as there have been a couple of moments that really should not have happened. Brilliant curveball for Alexander, but he only gets one. Now, temperature, he's trying to convert the spam shots. Last bullet will connect to the Nitro, and Moon Raccoons will come out with a favorable trade, looking at now a 4v3 defensive start. Yep, and losing Nitro is the kick in the balls here as well. As soon as we'll bring one back, but you don't have any smokes. If this is the big problem for your take, what you can do is you can rush onto a site with both your jet and your rays, just jump packing in, dashing in. Hiko will give you some shock arrow and recon arrow assistance, but with no flash available, no paranoia, no smokes, 100T really are disadvantaged on this now attack. Ra Moon Raccoon should be able to win it. The only problem is they've gambled the wrong site and it's just down to Rebo to hold them out. I just don't understand if you're Profi, why do you challenge that? You've got a 4v3 situation. You need that utility to hold off the spike site if the rotation comes out. So now it's just down to Rebo. He's already lost his cyber cage. His spy king will find him some intel. He's able to win one gunfight, but Dyson gets to respond to the tap. Not enough oh, ammunition for Rebo to win the gunfight. No reload there whatsoever. So now it's just down to Fiend from behind, trying to keep Moon Raccoons alive. Spike planted, tap shots will not connect as Dicey safely plants behind the container. And you've got none other than Hiko playing from B long and wood. This is a really tough That's ask. Fine. No leers, does have four charges of the soul orbs to play with, but you gotta find a kill first. He's gonna get a 1v1, and the angle's being held, he finds the kill. Immediately goes for the heal. Recon bolt will come through. Gets it to halfway. Oh. Now the challenge coming through. He go through the wall. Attackers will convert win. the recon bolt. Was never